Yeah, I think the thing about uh, college these days, and this isn't really different than in the past, but it's uh, basically a pathway, you know, to the corporate world. And I think if that's something that you're interested in, that that trail has been blazed and it's there for you and it's very easy to see. Entrepreneurship is, is not so easy to see, but you know some of these new internet businesses and things like that, like the models are becoming more defined um, and the places to get education and resources are becoming more defined. And so I think it's important to, to, to identify those and look at them as real opportunities, just as one maybe in the past would look at college as a real opportunity. So, you know, a, a long time ago, you know, 50 years ago, the, the standard thing to say was like, join the military. It's going to be a great track for you. You're going to get paid. You're going to get an education. And then it was like, go to college. Uh, you're going you're gonna to get an education. You're going to get a great job. And so I think what we're looking for now is these new scripts. And so what are we going to say to our children now? Are we going to say, go to college? I don't necessarily think so. I think maybe if you're going to get into sciences or engineering or something like that, it might still be necessary. But we need to define this new script. And I think entrepreneurship um, is a great script to start teaching people um, because we have so many resources available to ourselves and you can kind of decide your own fate, right? You don't need to go to these institutions. They don't need to stamp on your uh, on your piece of paper that says you passed. Now you're allowed to go into life. Like all we have to do is open up our browser and we give ourselves permission to succeed. Basically, I'm most productive when I'm around people that I'm working with that can help me accomplish what I want to accomplish. So, for example, uh, most of our team is in the United States right now. So if I'm in the United States and I'm in a good time zone when I can communicate with them, that's generally when I'm the most productive. What really changed for me, though, between having a job and being an entrepreneur was just responsibility. Um, so it wasn't just like kind of clock in, clock out. It became like a 24-hour thing, and it became a mindset, really. Um, you start to become responsible for your business, then you start to become responsible for your clients and your employees, um, and it, it just becomes basically a full-time job, and that's something that I've really embraced because there's a lot of continuity in that for me. So like uh, it's just part of my life now, whereas when I had a job, I would go there, and then I would start my other life after work. And the way I live now is, is there's a lot more continuity. Yeah, failure is pretty much in the day of an entrepreneur. It's pretty much a, a, an everyday thing, you know. So I think um, being able to cope with failure, like building that into your personality is a really good trait to have as an entrepreneur because you have to get used to it. You know, people are going to not want to talk to you. Sales aren't going to happen. Things aren't going to work out the way that you want them to work out. Um, so I think that there's always going to be all these little mini failures that happen in your business, but as long as you're achieving uh, some of your other goals and milestones in your business, I think you'll be all right. I think it was basically, you know, just experience, right? So it's like uh, as you go on in business, like you, you build up these toolkits. So yeah, the next time you attack a niche, it becomes easier um, because you have the experience. and. Uh, like business is funny because it's not all written down in one place, right? And so it takes a long time to collect all this information and get good at it. It's like anything, it's like playing a sport, right? Like it takes you many years to become a master. And I think in business, um, you know, if, if you're trying to attack the same problems, you know, over the course of 10 or 20 years, you're just gonna get better at it because you got a better toolkit, you have better resources and you have a lot more experience.